when I travel the world and uh, I hear many different stories, I'm always thinking of of different ways to entertain an audience. And I'd had this idea uh, of creating a zero-g sequence for some time. And when I read uh, the script and Alex had come up with the idea of a plane crash, I spoke with him. I said, "Listen, I think this is this is the way to approach this uh, to really create something that is." visceral and terrifying for an audience. Uh, that, that was really the goal. How do we put them right on the edge of the seat? It's always my goal. Uh, it does really add a layer for the audience. You can feel it. Generally what happens when I kind of make certain suggestions, sometimes people kind of look at me like, that's, I don't know, that sounds impossible. I, this is not gonna work. I was like, look, let's just, let's just take steps and go, I think. You know, because as, as it starts to evolve, everyone's like, oh, we can do this, we can do that, we can do this. And so that's where this started. I feel fortunate to be able to do what I do because film people are can-do people. And to have this opportunity to do that in zero G is just gonna give an audience a different kind of emotional quality. He said, yeah, this sounds great, we'll build a set, but we're also gonna do it for real. And I said, what? And he said, yeah, we're gonna do it on this zero G plane. And he explained this whole process and I thought, this is just never gonna happen, there's just no way. Now here we are standing on the zero G plane. And I think it speaks to what we wanna do in this movie, which is immerse the audience completely and totally in the experience. So when you're watching it, you're actually gonna see people in real zero G plummeting toward the earth. And that's pretty special. He's so excited, I don't think I've ever seen him. I don't think I've seen him this excited since he was hanging on the outside of a plane on Mission Impossible. You know, when you look at these pilots, uh, there's a whole technology there. Uh, these are great aviators. We can make a whole film just about how these guys fly this airplane. The plane will go through a series of degrees of pull-up. So as we enter the pull-up phase, we go into a hyper-G, which all the blood feels like it drains from your head down to your feet, and you become very heavy. Uh, so the moment we're in neutral flight, the arms, everything relaxed, easy. One, pull up. Now we're pulling up. Now everything gets really heavy. So the blood starts draining down towards your feet. And now to lift your arms up is much, much heavier. And obviously that will fall much quicker, everything. And then 30 degree, that was 30 degree now. 40 degree. And now we go injection. And this is when we go light. So now we have this. <laughs> we had 64 cycles of zero G and within each cycle is 22 seconds. When we got up there, we knew the story point. You know, we kind of developed the script around it, but you don't know what it's gonna be like until we're actually doing it. So I'll never forget when Wade got back from the uh, testing phase, you know, that we, I said, guys, guys, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. I promise you, you're gonna really, this is gonna be so cool. Doing a stunt like this, you can't rehearse this. We, you know, we rehearse the move, we know where the move's going, but you don't know what's going to happen until we actually get there and do it. Yeah, we had to do a test shot and to feel the effects of zero G. Uh, if you can't enjoy that, to have that experience, you know, I remember looking at the astronauts in zero G as a kid and 
it's just, I think it's exhilarating. I couldn't wait to do it. Well, the first takes, of course, it's like jumping out of an airplane. It felt like everything was happening so fast. When you see the sequence, we don't know physically, I know I have to get from point A to point B in the aircraft, because really, the plane is crashing at this point in the movie. And we, I'm trying to, I spot a parachute, so I'm trying to get a parachute on her. It's grueling, you know, and there's a real physical challenge in doing zero G. It's exhausting, uh, the, the pressures on the body. With the whole crew, way, you know, all the guys, sound, camera guys, everyone's there. We're in a cramped space. You can't, you know, there's a certain point where you're, it's a little out of control. No one got hurt, which is good. And then the more you do it, it's like time can expand and you start being more aware and you actually feel more time. You know, that's why the takes got better and better. Annabelle's a real hero through this because she's never done anything like this before. You know, and Wade made it incredibly safe, but he also gave us room to kind of discover the shot. Uh, and we just found it. We wanted it to be as kind of wild and violent and erratic and, and spontaneous. involved in just creating that little moment that uh, I think all of us felt such a sense of accomplishment that day. You know, there's a shot where the whole crew were all together. I wanted everyone to have that opportunity so that at the end, I just wanted to be able to celebrate it with everyone. And not just that moment, but I think the whole film, how hard everyone worked. I'm fortunate these, the crews I work with, the people I work with, as I said, they're can-do people. and very bright, very creative. So uh, you see that moment when the whole crew's there, it's really a celebration of, I think, what we all accomplished together. And really, the ultimate uh, joy of seeing a, an audience experience it, you know, when the trailer came out, that's what we're here to do. I'm, I'm here to really entertain that audience and to see, uh, you know, that effect on them and that they're enjoying it and they're scared, <laughs> you know, shitless uh, <laughs> or thrilled or exhilarated by it. That's really, that's uh, really quite a very unique really unique joy.
on, guys. Right, we got incredible stuff. Come on, wait. This is going to be such a terrifying, I think, an exhilarating experience for an audience. And real. And real. real. Everything's yeah. practical. No visual effects. No. No really cartoons. No cartoons. <laughs> I was surprised how yeah. physically grueling it is. Yeah. Yeah. That that's surprised me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep well tonight. I really did not think. <laughs> well, Annabelle, she's never even like done stunts before. No, I haven't. Okay, hey, wait. But now Alex, I'm even better she's than never Thomas. even done stunts before, and she's doing this. I'm very, very impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.